Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so this is part two of that circus theme. It's a special request, and this is gonna be the cake topper. So I'm using the same SVG that she bought from Etsy, and I must admit, it's not one of my favorites, just because it there's just a lot in here attached as one, and so you'll see right now, until I start getting rid of some of these things, the file is so big, it's slowing down design space. I definitely prefer um, the files that you buy that you know maybe only have 10 images, but I'm gonna use you know five of those images. It's totally worth it. Uh, what I don't like is when it's, I don't know, for $5.99, you get 100 images. Because <laughs> you have to sort through those 100 images and upload all the ones that you want. You gotta find out which ones you want. They don't do a good job of labeling them most of the time. Um, if they did label them, then I would have no issues. But they don't label, it's just like image one, image two. So that's kind of where I am. But let's make this a little bit smaller. All right, let's see what we have here. So this is going to be the cake topper. If you remember, I showed you yesterday how to do this cute little lion. I made him 30 inches. So I feel like um, the same thing can apply to all these animals. I definitely like these because these, look at the bottom. They're going to be so stable. You can prop that up against the cake table, uh, the floor even, and it will be good. I don't recommend this. Uh, circle one as much unless you know this can be leaned up the arm and the leg can be touching something else and kind of leaning on it um, and away from your younger guests <laughs> so all right so let's see um, it's still not letting me oh there I'm going to ungroup it so for the cake topper, I definitely want to use the tent. I think that's a cool, cool uh, centerpiece. I love the cotton candy. Um, and this is such a bummer. So I'm just waiting. But um, we're going to use both print and cut and a mixture of cardstock. I think it would be great if you had some glitter cardstock, some non-glitter, like just your regular cardstock. Uh, 65 pound is what I prefer to use because your blade cuts it well. Um, it's cheaper. <laughs> uh, okay, and then I think that will be really, really good. So let me see if my file, so it's kind of frozen while it's ungrouping right now, so I think, and while I don't love this type of file, I know you guys buy them and you get them and you get frustrated and don't know what to do with them. So I'm kind of glad, you know, it's, it's a learning. If, if I can at least get a learning experience out of it, then it's all good. So, okay, let's get rid of some of these things that we know we're not going to use. Like, I don't know why this thing over here is just here. Um, as soon as it lets me. So I like that Ferris wheel, but I'm not sure how that's going to be. So we'll see in a second. All right. Well, while this is going on, oh, there. So I'm going to delete this. Um, I think we only need one clown because the cake topper is only so big. So I feel is, you know, you don't want to over clutter this um, cake topper. So I'm going to get rid of that. And this will help us right now as we get rid of items, it will um, clear up design space a little bit. I don't think we want the popcorn. There's nothing cute about the popcorn, but I do love that cotton candy. It kind of looks like ice cream though, but it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it's stinking cute. So I'm going to leave a few of those. Don't need the cotton candy stand though. Okay. Um, let me get rid of, I don't know what these stripes are up here. Okay, I don't know what that is. Let's delete that. Oh, what was just right there? Let me undo that real quick. I don't know what was there. Oh, it was our Ferris wheel. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. All right, let's get rid of these things down here. We don't need these. All right, but it got rid of one of our animals, but you snooze, you lose, right? Okay. Um, 
I don't particularly love the way those balloons are. They're not as cute as can be. Get rid of these. Um, because I'm doing the tent and the animals, I don't think we need this fire ring thing. And I don't think we need this cannonball either. Um, all right. So I still think this is a lot going on. Well, first of all, we only need one cotton candy. So let's do the pink one. Um, I don't love the clown. So I'm going to get rid of the clown. Then this is more of like a theme. Here's our ringmaster and a few of his animals. So let's get rid of these lines. I don't know what these lines are. Oh, okay. For whatever reason, this is attached to it. So let's bring in our shapes. Sorry, I should have brought this in earlier. Um, let's bring in a square and a circle. These are things that I typically use. So, I'm going to use this square for now, make it really big, and I'm going to slice out for whatever reason it's attached. So I'm going to, oh, hold on, it's not letting me. So maybe I can ungroup this. Yep, I can ungroup it. So I didn't need to slice it. Um, all right, so let me move this little square out of the way. Okay, so let's get rid of Okay, so you can ungroup some more. I'm gonna get rid of the Ferris wheel completely. I just feel like it's not, it's not a workable file. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that. All right, so here's our tent. Now, right now, I am not concerned with how big things should be. I'm just gonna make every piece that I'm using uh, proportionate to one another. And then at the end, we can resize because no matter how you do it, we need to make sure that the ringmaster is not gigantic compared to a super small tent, right? Everything needs to be proportionate. So that's all I'm worried about right now. So I like the idea of this big tent um, with like a little banner up here and then you can have your name. So the banner I love using from images. So let me move my face out of the way. Um, type in banner. And there is a favorite banner of mine. I do like this one a lot. So I'm gonna use this one. Um, I have access, so I it's free. I love it. I don't love the fonts that come with it. I feel like that's a waste of money, but um, the image library, the searching tool, all of that is definitely worth the $10 a month to me. Okay, so here's our banner. I kind of like the idea of the banner being on top right here um, with the name. Now, I feel like it can be thicker, so I'm going to do something like this. And I'm going to duplicate it because I'm going to show you why. Um, when you go over here, click on contour and hide all. Move my face some more. Okay. And let's see, let's do this one white. Okay. And then here's our green that's going to be on top and go ahead and arrange send to the front just so that you get an idea of what it looks like. So I have one white that's going to cut out um, one big solid white and then I'm gonna have the Cricut cut me whatever color you want to make this and it's gonna lay on one piece it's gonna lay on top of the white and it's gonna give you this banner which I love I'm you know what let me see if I have one here where are all my cake toppers I'm coming, sorry. Back. <laughs> so you see this, um, wow, my shirt just, <laughs> uh, this red and yellow, I mean, red and green, losing my mind. Um, I love that. 
this is what it looks like in two other colors. So it's so easy to put it together because the pink is one piece and the blue in the back is also one big piece. And then you can have your individual letters for the name or a scripted name all right here. Um, super, super cute. Okay, so we have our layers. So for now, um, go ahead, let's just grab both of these and we'll put it right here. So you can kind of see like, I think it's gonna look really, really pretty. Okay, um, let's, so that's gonna have the name. If you want a number, sometimes, I mean, the cake can be super simple because your, your cake topper is going to be very colorful and very pretty and expensive looking. Um, so sometimes the number, I will use that for the candles. So like if it's 10, one and a zero kind of thing, um, but that's totally up to you. Now, the other thing that you can do is, sorry, let me move this back over here. Let's say that you didn't like, and um, for now, I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm going to uh, group it together so that it will move as one piece because I have a feeling that I'm gonna be moving it quite a bit. Um, if you feel like, I think the length is good, but if you feel like this is too thin and you want a thicker banner, all you need to do is click the unlock button and stretch it out. So you can have a thicker banner if you wanted to like this, which I think that looks actually kind of good. Um, and you can do this in glitter cardstock. It would look really good because this will be in uh, print and cut. So we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> okay, so you have that. Um, okay, you have the banner. And then once you like what it is, I would just lock it back up again. Um, okay, so we got this ringmaster. He can be a little bit bigger, right? He can be like that and he could be standing in front. So you can make him pop out a little bit. We can put, um, you can roll up tissue paper and glue him to this tent to give it dimension and height. Um, give me just one. So as I was saying, you can um, push him kind of like popping up a little bit. I feel like he can be just even a little bit bigger. And then knowing that he's gonna pop out. Um, this little guy is so cute. He can be more in the background, oops. He can be more in the background like that, for instance. Let's move this guy back up over here. Um, oh, I got rid of, where's my cotton candy? Darn it. <laughs> but you can pick your different characters and props and stuff, okay? All right, so let's say you have this. I usually like to have them kind of all over the place, like, sorry, I'm moving away again. Um, actually, I don't have, oh, sorry. I swear, coming back. I know, I have all these extras that I wanna show you while we're talking. Um, I typically like to have three to five um, like characters, um, but usually it makes sense for them to be all over this um, cake topper. For this one, I feel like they kind of need to be all kind of in the center because they're all on something. So it's not like it would make sense for this little guy to be up here, although I guess you you could. Um, I'm struggling with this one a little bit. I, I feel like it would be so cluttered if they're all right here, and it would also feel very one-dimensional because they're all at the same height. Um, so let me see if I have any other, did I leave any other characters? I didn't. Oh no, here's my cotton candy. Yes, this little cotton candy is cute, so. I can't make it too big, but it's pretty stinking cute. We could have him holding it. <laughs> that would be pretty cute. Um, okay, so let's make him just a little bit bigger. 
But see, he's like running out of space, right? If we put him kind of front and center, he's right in the middle. Don't really know how I feel about this. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm kind of struggling with this a little bit. I almost feel like right now it's pretty already kind of cluttered. Um, I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna get rid of these two, okay? All right, so now that we have our piece and we need to put in the name, so go ahead and text. Um, I'm gonna put in Charlotte, because that's my daughter, but you put in your name. Um, and you can do, you know, I don't think I have a circus font right now, but no, there's nothing circus-ish, but, um, you know, I would go to um, Defont and, um, sorry, I'm losing my head today. <laughs> I would go to Defont, look up circus, and, you know, they'll have like the, uh, the fonts that you typically would see like in the circus banner and stuff. So that I think that would look really cute. So um, I would make this, I don't know, red might be too obvious, but it is on a white background. So it will look really cute. Oh, you know what? I would put this little cotton candy up here by the name arrange sent to the front just so you get an idea Oops, not, not, there it is arrange send to the front did I not do that <laughs> I feel like I just did that all right so it will be in the in the up front right I would probably duplicate that and um, put the other one over here like that okay um all right so everything is pretty much print and cut right so what happens when you do print and cut is you're basically sending it to your printer not the Cricut you're sending an image to the printer so this is what happens is it will print out this it will have the registration marks then you take this piece of paper from the printer and then you put it on your mat and then send it to your Cricut machine for it to cut out the outline. So what will happen is you will then get a piece that is perfectly cut. It will look like this. Because you use regular printer paper, it's gonna be very thin. So what I like to do is I like to cut the same image out in cardstock. So you see, this is gonna make it very stable. And what will happen is then you will have something like this and it's super stable, you can glue it to something, it will stand up straight, propped out, it will be sturdy and it will be lovely. So, all right, so um, I'm gonna show you how to do that background, okay? So for instance, let's say you like everything the way it is. Um, first, actually, let's, um, let's size this thing. So right now, grabbing it all, um, well, with print and cut, you're going to need to make it smaller because the if you're going to do the um, the background print and cut, the most it can be is 9.25 by 6.75. So let's kind of just reduce that to 9.25 and 6.75. So it's going to look something like, like that. Um, and that's not a bad size. This just looks small because I'm at 50%. So let me make it bigger. You're probably used to seeing something like this. So, okay. So with that being said, I think that looks pretty darn good. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make duplicates of everything so that we can do that cardstock cutout. Okay. So for instance, this um, tent. So make a copy of it. So here we have this, and then you're gonna go over here, change from no fill. Well, we do want no fill. We're gonna weld it. And you can make this whatever color you want, okay? But just know it's going all the way in the back and it's basically 
this tent is going to be what you layer everything on top of. So I would definitely make this tent, I would probably cut it out of um, 110 cardstock to make it super, super sturdy because everything's going on top of this. The banner is going on top. Um, all the animals that are in the front will be um, glued on top of this, um, on top of this piece. Okay. So um, that's that. Let's grab our tent here and we need to flatten it because we need to change it from right now, I forgot, we were going from SVG to basically um, a cut um, a cut and print, print and cut. <laughs> this is what it's gonna look like, okay? So now you can tell too, because it changed from all these cut to cut and print. Should be the other way around, but that's okay. Um, and like I said, this is going to go on top of this, right? So all of our, anything that you want to be print and cut, let's make a duplicate copy. So one copy we're going to weld. And that's going to be our, you know, to make it sturdy. And I would make all of these um, the same color. So actually, I would probably do it in white. Let me get this one. I'm going to change this to white. So all of your cardstock, whatever, your background, let me change it all to the same white. We'll all be on one piece of paper or maybe more than one. But anyway, this guy right now, he's all this cut um, and cut pieces. What you want to do is you want to flatten. And then you know if he's flattened because when you go to click on him next, you will see instead of all these cut um, items, he will be cut and print, print and cut. He looks pretty cute as a print and cut. So later when you when you get it off the mat, you're going to put him like this and he will be super, super sturdy. So that's all done. Let's do this one. Let's duplicate. and weld and make it white so we're not cutting a bazillion pieces, right? Different cardstock. Let's just move it out of the way for a second. All right, this guy we're gonna flatten. I feel like I'm per okay, I did click on it. Oh, he looks super cute as a print and cut. Okay, so this is done. We have this guy left. Let's duplicate. Weld. Change that to white or whatever color that you end up doing. And then this guy, we're gonna flatten. Uh, he looks pretty cute fun. Okay, what I would do is all of this, I would keep as cardstock. So this will be cardstock, which is totally fine. This, let's see how many layers this is. Um, the reason why I would keep it cardstock is it looks pretty simple. And then you could do like a glitter pink, and then this could be red and white but what i see is there's just a lot of pieces going on and i don't want that so let's ungroup this thing and see what we have so all right so this these little pieces let's grab all of them at one time okay and we're going to weld it because we want to make it one item and then what we're going to do is move it back over here and I think it was like right around there. We're gonna grab these two items and we're gonna slice. So that way you don't have to deal with these extra four pieces. They will just be cut from this original piece. But we need the background, right? We need that extra pink or whatever. So what I would do is I would duplicate it, go to contour and hide all. I know, stick with me. Um, and I would make this a different pink. Um, let's make this a, 
a super dark pink, okay? And send it to the back. So right now we have two pieces and they're two big pieces. So it'll be easy to handle, but look how cute that is. So you can do that. Um, it'll be really stable as well because we made it two big pieces as opposed to cutting up these four little pieces that you need to glue or tape down later, okay? All right, so we're gonna kind of do the same thing with this. So, oh, okay. So let's, what do I wanna do with this? Let's weld that. And then we're gonna put it back over here. We're gonna do the same thing. We're going to, oops, hold on. Let me put this up here a little bit more. Okay, and let's slice it. So we're gonna do the same thing. We don't wanna deal with so many stripes and whatever. So you're gonna have this that's in white, let's say, and then you're gonna, um, let's duplicate it and put it back over here. And then you can weld this piece. I know that's not, it should be right on top of each other, but let's just weld it so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, that was not good. Let me undo that. Let's get that back in there correctly. You know what, let's do something like this. I'm just trying to make that big triangle behind. Um, and let's go to contour and let's hide all and see if that gives me that solid piece almost. But basically what you wanted was this. Or I could have just gotten a triangle, but you get what I'm trying to do. So you have basically this cotton candy is in four big, easy, manageable pieces for you of cardstock. Okay, so it'll be easy to put together. So you can then just duplicate this. So that will be on both sides. And so we can get rid of this cotton candy over here. Right? All right, so I think we have everything. I'm gonna get rid of, whoa, what are all these things? Let's make this smaller and see what else I have on this page. Where are these things? Um, why is it showing like, okay, I think we're okay. No, I don't think so. Hold on, sorry. Uh, did I not, It cut. it's kind of weird because it's, let me flatten it. It was one too many pieces. It should have just been all one image. Okay, there. So let's look at this. Maybe I didn't flatten everything the way it should have been. And see how like this is one piece, right? So that's kind of what you want. All right, everything else is good. What is this? I'm gonna delete that. Okay. I think we're ready. So let's go to make it so I can show you what that looks like if you've never done print and cut. It's amazing. I really, really recommend it. Even if you have a crap or you think you have a crappy printer, which that used to be my excuse. Once I started doing it, it's just so nice to, you know, have all these cool characters, which would have taken forever as cardstock. Um, so my design space is a little frozen. It's usually not. Okay, there it is. All right, so this is what's cool. The tent is gonna print out with these items. So what? So first thing is you're gonna click continue and you're gonna click send to printer. It will print on, um, it will print to your connected printer and then you'll come back and if, let's say we've already printed it, you can click I've already printed and then I need to connect to my device. But then you just pick, you know, light cardstock and it will cut out all around your images. So same thing with, let's cancel. Okay, let me move my face, yes. Let's just show you what you have. Um, okay, so you have this guy 
printing out by himself. He looks pretty cute though. Here is all the background um, pieces. So I do recommend 110 pound cardstock for that. This is your two cotton candy pieces, but you can change the color if you wanted to. I forgot to change the color of this. I mean, this doesn't have to be green. It can be any color. Here's our cute pink cotton candy, the back of it. So you wanna make sure you pick whatever color you want. Here is the rest of the triangle cup. That should just be a triangle. This is the name and that's it. And then you piece it all together. So I hope that was helpful. I'm sorry that was, I felt like it was a crazy video. <laughs> All right. Um, if you have any comments, please let me know. Uh, any suggestions, any special requests. I'm totally here to help you with your project. You just have to let me know. So either comment here, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, and I will talk to you later. Bye.